from protests to praise intense reaction to that controversial new Texas abortion law with the Supreme Court for now declining to block it. So what's next? This is not just about Texas, right? This fight is at our doorstep. Both sides seeing it as a potentially existential moment for abortion access across the country, with intensifying questions over what this means for the fate of Roe versus Wade, the 1973 landmark abortion rights decision. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi now announcing she'll hold a vote soon on a bill that would enshrine the Roe protections into law. But there's virtually no path for that in the Senate, given Republican opposition, unless Democrats decide to change procedural rules, which for now appears unlikely. At the White House, a combative exchange. Who does he believe then should look out for the inborn child? He believes that it's up to a woman to make those decisions. I know you've never faced those choices, nor have you ever been pregnant. President Biden pledging a whole of government push, asking the health and justice departments to look at what can be done federally. And the Supreme Court down the road could still rule on whether the law is constitutional. For their part, anti-abortion advocates seem energized, looking to use Texas as a blueprint, with Republicans in Florida and South Dakota already signaling they'll review their laws to see if they can be strengthened. The Texas law, which bans abortions after about six weeks and provides incentives to people who sue someone who helps provide an abortion, is crafted to try and make any legal challenge difficult by making enforcement up to private citizens instead of state officials. We do hope that other states will model their laws after the Texas Heartbeat Act. Our legislative team has already been working with a couple other states on what we did differently. So who could face lawsuits under that Texas law? We're talking about anybody who's seen as helping with the procedure, from the provider to somebody who pays for it, even somebody who drives the patient to a clinic, like an Uber driver. As for the Supreme Court here in Washington, the stage is set next term for a major ruling that could affect protections under Roe versus Wade, with justices reviewing a Mississippi law that bans most abortions after 15 weeks. Tom? We have wide implications as well. All right, Hallie, thank you for that. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.